Which is the first name? Riley. Ruby. Jonathan. Manuela. Camille. JJ. Peter. Aaron. Kerry. Jason. Ines. And Jude. What's your favourite anime? At the moment, my hero, because that's what got me into it. But if I had to go away from that, I'd have to say either Horimaya or Death Note. Surprisingly, Call of the Night. But, uh, it's a vampire. I don't normally like romances, but it's the only romance I like. It's, it's mostly a comedy. This kid tries to find out what love is with a vampire and stuff. It's crazy. Why is that your favorite then? The comedy, it was hilarious to me. The end okay. scene got me, it was just amazing generally. Okay. Which anime or video game do you think could make the best live action adaptation? Just because that's the one I'm watching at the moment, Kimetsu no Yaiba. I would like to see that as a, a live action. And who would you like to star in the starring roles? I don't know, whoever the director believes is uh, worthy of being in the movie. I'm gonna just go with Naruto, I guess. Who would you want to star as the main characters? Jack Black, because it'd be hilarious. No. As? Tanjiro. Ryan Reynolds as the main character's little sister. That'd be hilarious. Sister? That's hilarious. If we're going based on morals, Death Note, because they did the play, that was pretty sick anyway. But if we're going for games, best live action type of game, GTA, because it's basically that already in it. You gotta, you gotta say it, GTA, any of them. Who would you wanna be the actors in it? We've gotta have Alec Brightman in Death Note, definitely. The rest of them, don't know, just make sure they're good. I don't really do celebrities, I just know when I see them. I'm a bit against live action, uh, yeah. I don't really like them because like the whole the point of anime is that you can like you can actually expand your creativities when it comes to like superpowers or things that are not really explainable in a real life situation and it's way more versatile than live action and something that I have noticed with live action is that they kind of try to over explain certain themes to yeah everything and to make it more oh we are in the real world so this is going to happen like, like this is happening like that instead so I don't really like live action. Uh, me too I'm not I'm not really like a fan of live action. I like um, animes more. Well, except for Bleach though. Bleach is good. Like the way they do it, it's fine. Attack on Titan. If like a good one were to actually happen, it would be beautiful. Who would you want to be starring it? Chris Evans as Erwin would be really good. Maybe Dylan O'Brien as... Levi? I think you should leave animated things alone and enjoy the medium. Okay, that's a good answer. Actually. Yep. Samurai Champloo. Go in series! Yeah. Can I do a manga? Yeah, go for it. I think Vagabond, Vagabond? should be a live action. Okay. People say that it should be an anime, but it just wouldn't be very good. Because it'd have to be some Japanese man. If the guy from Shogun was younger, I thought like he could do Musashi quite well. Okay. Call of Duty Black Ops campaign. That I don't think they can go wrong with that because it's already in the human regular style. Honestly, take Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2 story, combine it into one movie. I think it's a great movie. And who would you like to see be the actors in that film? I think as Mason, the guy that plays Thor, Chris Hemsworth, I think he would be a dope Mason. Yeah. I think he'd be great. If they were to put a bunch of effort into it, I feel like Bleach could be a great... They Because they I, they kind of showed it with One Piece. One Piece, I haven't watched it, but I heard so, a lot of great reviews with the live action. If they were to change some stuff, I feel like it could be really, really good. It has such a great story, such great characters, and it would introduce a lot more people to it, because a lot of people don't watch anime, they rather watch the live action. So I think Bleach would be great and they could also cut a lot of the filler too that would be amazing yeah i think bleach yeah dbz but they wouldn't be able to do it hunter x hunter oh you're lying April. i've never heard of that what is that oh it's like a romance i mean it is already in theaters but who would be like the main a... actors the thing is they're both like young teenagers so i don't know any teenage actors because that seems a bit dodgy you speak some japanese would you be comfortable to introduce yourself in japanese konnichiwa watashi wa namae enes desu yoroshiku onegaishimasu eto iguri sijin desu nice that was good. I'll give that a 7.5 out of 10. So I could get you introduced yourself. You said your name. You said your English. Cool. I'm sure there'll be some Japanese people hopefully who will comment in the comment section as well. Hi everyone, I hope you're enjoying this video. If you would like help in how to communicate with Japanese people and communicate with people from around the world, sign up to my Patreon where I can give you tips about how I learned Japanese myself, how I've made friends with lots of Japanese people, how I'm able to do street interviews in Japanese with Japanese people. Sign up to the Patreon for exclusive access and help with your Japanese journey. And back to the video. If you could erase one anime from existence, what would it be? Don't you dare say Dragon Ball. Were you gonna say Dragon Ball? No, I was definitely gonna say Dragon Ball. Uh, Why? Why do you hate it so much? It's just, everyone loves it so much. I generally do think it's overrated. But you wanna erase it from history? 
Yeah. So like they could be replaced by better things like One Piece. You know the wow, guy. That would be my childhood gone if you raised Dragon Ball. Damn, that's crazy. I actually don't know. I feel like I do Kuroko's basketball or Blue Lock. I feel like they're meathead uh, sports shows and they don't represent the sport very well. Uh, Boku no Pico. That, that's still my answer. That, that show oh, should have never existed. Oh, yes. What is it about? What was that? I can't. Oh, I can't. Oh, so you're gonna have to. You're oh, gonna have to. Is it some hentai stuff? Borderline. Yeah. Bro, yeah. stole my answer. Boku no Pico. Because back in the day when we started watching anime, people would be like, Oh, you know, you need to watch first. And instead of saying Boku no Hero Academia, it said Boku no Pico. So that needs to go now. Baki. Yeah, wow. yeah Baki's trash. It's too bloody. It's too violent. Too many explaining the moves. It's really slow. Boku no Pico. Second like people who said this. It, what is it about? Is it really weird? Let's just say it's about a really young boy and a really old guy. Oh, no. We can stop there. We can stop there. I'm not original. Boku no Pico needs to leave. Whoa, you're you're the, to you're die. the third group who've said this. I've never heard of B Boku no Pico before today. Uh, and, I, and I'm so glad I have it. I am not, I do not discriminate when it comes to anime, but this one needs to leave. I'm so sorry. Okay. I'm On so many anime. levels. Mm. And I can tell you that I, when I say I watch all types, I don't know if you're familiar with Yaoi, BL, oh, yeah. Boys Love, Boys Love, Girls Love. Probably not. Yes, yeah. I'm very open about this, but Boku no Pico needs to. I have to agree. Okay. Yeah, I have to agree. <laughs> I have a few. I can't say the name because they're like really, really bad. But there's some of them out there like, why do they exist? What's the subject matter? It's just, it gets in that category where you're not sure why that content was made in the first place. It's like, how are you supposed to enjoy that? It's just like wrong on so many levels. It's like anything that like, I, I've been a teacher for 10 years. So anything that like touches upon children in a very like, Ooh. Yeah, mm. that, no, 100% mm. no. I completely understand. High school DXD. Okay. Why? It just seems degenerate. I don't, I'm not into harem animes. Like, I know it's weird coming from someone playing Persona, but I never do the harem route. I don't, I just think it's a dumb trope. Like, being some lame guy everybody's obsessed with for no reason. Makes uh, no sense. Yeah. High school DXD. That's it. It's ass. Oh, probably My Hero Academia. I just don't understand the point of it. I don't, I don't understand the plot behind My, my Hero Academia. They're just teenagers in a school that fight. I don't get it. It's a bit dumb. I'm okay. gonna actually have to say One Piece. Oh, okay. Because I actually, I, I, I just could not get into I'm sorry man, I'm sorry. But like I was watching and watching and watching and like I don't know the pacing, like I was just like just falling asleep watching it, I can't lie. They put me to bed so it helped but I just couldn't get behind it. I couldn't finish Fairy Tale, I'm sorry. I started the final season came out, I fell asleep, I apologize. They overused the power of friendship and I was getting older and the show was getting younger and I was like I was offended, I'll be honest. Mob psycho. It's like where a kid is just like evolving. See, I thought it just wasn't intense enough. I I, I think maybe I've got a short attention span. It just wasn't evolving quick enough okay. for me. So I Either, it's either category, uh, category or fairy tale because there was too much fan service and it just ruined everything okay. and the power of friendship. Yeah, no, it was just too. It was it was too poorly written in my opinion. <laughs> the power of friendship is so funny and it's so overused, way too much in so many anime. What's one anime that everyone loves but you secretly hate? Dragon Ball Z, I guess. Come on, man. So everyone loves Dragon Ball Z other than me, I guess. And Naruto. I just can't get into them. I've tried them, but mm, I know One Piece is long, but Naruto is just weirdly long. I know One Piece is still long. But still, Spike's family. Nah, just exactly. that, okay, that okay, one okay, okay. Well, you know, it's just the one. One I think everyone hates that I also hate is um, Corpse Party, the anime. That one was terrible. They butchered all the characters because it's based off a game. They just butchered it. So. Probably Dragon Ball. Come on, man. I just I didn't see the appeal. What? What? Dragon Ball, you know. Nah, nah, you know what it is? I like all anime. I am appreciate of fine art. Ending of AOT, the anime. I don't know about that. And JJK. What's your message to the world about anime or video games or in general? If the guys who like animes and games, he will be a good guy. Why do you say that? Because we will have the nice heart okay. and kind. I, I think I can get so many meanings in the in the animates. Okay. So he makes the person like me okay. and I'm a good person. Okay. That's why I think the other one is good. Does your husband watch anime? Uh, yes. Okay. Yes, but okay. not too much. First off, go watch Kori Maya. Great anime. 
if you love romance, great anime. Second off, don't judge people, stop the hate, and you know, everyone's a person at the end of the day. Why are you gonna hate someone for something they do? Just stop it, innit? As I said before, anime, manga, comics, it's just as not the genre uh, when it comes to art. It's not an sub art. It's an integral and complete art in my opinion. And so really like try and uh, explore. It's like this world is too small for you to be only focused or only rely on a certain type of things. So yeah, like anime is good. Just try, just try. It, there's no harm of trying. And then after that, if you don't really like it, then probably it's just not for you. If you're gonna start anime, it'd be one piece. It's nice and short and uh, yeah, it's, it's very quick to watch. So just start it. Stay weird. Be awesome. That's it. <laughs> I would just say to give it a chance because it's so great and once you watch all these shows I know people say oh I don't like anime but there's so many different genres that you can enjoy like horror fantasy romance like it's it's pretty much impossible to not give it a chance and I think if you opened your mind to it you'd really enjoy it just have fun with it like if you're having fun then it doesn't matter what you do unless it's like weird yeah like she said man anime is fun I think it's helped me in many different ways I think it helps people if they have like I don't know depression mental, other types of mental health anime just gives you that extra drive anybody who don't watch anime you don't got that kind of drive like I do bro don't be afraid to be yourself you're fine the way you are just because somebody doesn't like you that doesn't mean that defines you they can go on and look at somebody else and judge somebody else be yourself be yourself accept yourself love yourself going to cons is fun take your own opinions over someone else's opinion hi everyone my name is Cody and I'm embarking on an exciting challenge going from 100 subscribers to 10,000 subscribers in one month I need your help to achieve this I am a youtuber I make great exciting videos traveling asking people about hot topics you can check out my videos subscribe follow share and like let's hit this target of 10,000 subscribers in one month together we can do this let the internet unite and let's make this happen